Hey guys, welcome back to Good News Radio. Molly and Nick were walking home from school and talking about their assignment. Molly turned to Nick and asked, Hey, what are you doing for your history project? I don't know, Molly. The hardest part will be finding a partner. I don't have a partner yet. I could work with you. You'd work with me? Sure. As long as you don't want to do something really goofy. I promise. No goofy ideas. Honest. Okay. Well, then we can be partners for this project. Great! Um, Molly, what exactly do partners do? They help each other get a job done. You know, they stick together. Oh, well, what should we do first? First, we need to come up with an idea for our project. Then, you'll do some research, and I'll do some research. Finally, we'll put our work together, and the job will be done. Just like our teacher wants it to be. I know. How about we build a time machine and go back in time? Nick, you promised no goofy ideas, and that's pretty goofy. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what do you think we should do? I think we should write a book about what life was like before cell phones and TVs. Okay, but I'm not very good at writing. Then I'll do that part. That's something I can do easily. I can draw pictures for the book. I draw really well. Great. Then you do the part that you can do best, and I'll do the part that I can do best. You do a part, and I'll do a part. It's like being a team. We are a team. We just have to stick together until we get the project done. Molly stopped in front of her house. Well, I have to go now. See you later. She started to walk away. Nick followed close behind her. After several steps, she looked over her shoulder, saw him behind her, and stopped walking. Nick stopped right behind her, almost running into her. She turned around and asked him, What in the world are you doing? Following you. Why? We're partners, remember? And partners stick together. But you don't have to stay right behind me. How can I be your partner if I'm not close to you? Partners don't have to stay together all the time. They just have the same goal. So I don't always have to be by your side? Of course not. Oh, good. I'd get pretty sick of being with you and your giggling friends all the time. Very funny. Partners were together to do a job, but they don't have to stay together all the time. I even have a partner on the other side of the world. You do? Yeah. I'm helping a missionary in Brazil right now. You are? But you're just a kid. Well, I can't go all the way to Brazil to tell others about Jesus, but I can pray every day. That way, I'm doing what I can to help the missionary. How do you know what to pray for? Our Sunday school teacher reads us the missionary's letters every time one comes, and she even gives us a copy. I underline all the things the missionary asks people to pray for. Every day, I pray for at least one thing. That's my way of being a partner. What kind of things does he ask you to pray for? Sometimes I pray for special meetings where he'll be talking to people. Other times I pray for rain or for someone who's sick. Whatever the missionary needs. I'm called a prayer partner. Wow. He does a part, and you do a part. Hey, I bet that's why it's called being partners. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Now, I really have to go. See you later, partner. Yeah, see you, partner. Imagine that, being a partner with someone on the other side of the world. If you have believed in Jesus as your savior, you can pray for missionaries too. You can talk to God and ask him to help them during their day provide for them, and help them know what to do when difficult things happen. Maybe you are like Molly and you go to a church where they have a specific missionary they pray for and support. You can talk to an adult you trust about how you can pray for those missionaries. Until next time, thanks for listening to Good News Radio.